The Ocoee Massacre is remembered. Your newspaper just got bigger. Turnpike forces defeated by the people of Winter Garden. And a tremendous event that you will not want to miss out on. The date is November 4th, 2021. We're going to go through these stories and more. Welcome to West Orange on the Go. My name is Austin Arthur, and this is where we do local news and comment. And when I say local news, I mean hyper-local. West Orange, this is your news. We begin in 10 seconds. You're listening to West Orange on the Go. Brought to you by the West Orange Times and Observer. Hosted by Austin Arthur. West Orange on the Go. The city of Ocoee will remember the 101st anniversary of the Ocoee 1920 Election Day Massacre on Saturday, November 6th and Sunday, November 7th. Ocoee Remembers will be held at the park from noon until 3. There will be a keynote speaker, remarks from elected officials, food trucks, and music. Now, November 6th has a lot going on, including a major event in Winter Garden, so it might be good to map it out so you could attend both. But it continues on Sunday. High Point Church will honor the victims and their descendants at the Ocoee Lakeshore Center at 6 p.m. The City of Winter Garden Commissioners passed a recommendation to approve the acquisition of nearly 4,000 square feet at the northwest corner of Dillard Street and State Road 50. The right-of-way will be improved with new landscaping a right-bound turn lane, and some sidewalk improvements. In addition, the commissioners approved the purchase of some pre-planned new vehicles for the fire department. The Winter Garden Fire Department will now also be doing all of their own patient transportation. Now, prior to this, there was a third party that would come into the scene and transport a patient to the hospital, but no more. Winter Garden Fire and Rescue is now serving its residents in emergencies independently. This is great news for Winter Garden, for the citizens of Winter Garden, and for all of its visitors. The Florida Department of Transportation and Turnpike Authority withdrew their proposed Avalon Road interchange. This is a big deal. City Attorney Kurt Arteman said, quote, It is an unusual situation because 90 to 95 percent of the time, They do not make that kind of change, end quote. West Orange, we talk a lot about smart growth and green spaces and all these sorts of things. Well, this story shows that when you become active, you can make a big impact. And thus, the Turnpike Authority will not be spreading its tentacles further into our community, at least not so long as we stay active and alert. Now, our editor and publisher, Michael Ng, has a special announcement in this week's paper. It's about our growth. In part, he states, quote, Although much of our recent innovation and growth has been in digital, we added a new staff writer specifically for social media and breaking news on orangeobserver.com, as well as launched our West Orange on the Go podcast. Today, we're thrilled to introduce you to our new, bigger, broadsheet print edition. While some newspapers across the country are shrinking, either by personnel, circulation, publication frequency, or all of the above, we are doing quite the opposite. End quote. So the paper just got bigger. That's your paper. Now you could get your copy by finding the big red boxes. They're all over town, the newspaper boxes. You see them, you rip them open, it's a free paper. And now it's bigger than ever. So I encourage you to open the paper this week and read Mr. Ng's great piece about the expansion of the paper. And that's just a reflection of this beautiful community. West Orange is growing, it's thriving. And we're not affected by some of the other things going on out there. We're staying strong. So I'll end the subject with another line from this great piece from Mr. Ng. Quote, Like you, we have seen plenty of terrible examples of irresponsible, biased, and inaccurate reporting in the last few years. And we know that can and does have a residual effect. However, 
we remain dedicated to doing our jobs with honor, integrity, and accuracy, end quote. Now, the final story is coming up soon, and I want you to stick around. You don't want to miss it because you don't want Sunday to roll up, and you missed out on this whole thing. So stick around about what I'm going to tell you with our final story. But now this. Giving the gift of reading since 1997, the West Orange Times and Observer began the Reading Reindeer program nearly 25 years ago. The program supplies those less fortunate among us, youth, ranging from 1 to 17 years old, with new books during the Christmas season. Now, this is a great program created by the West Orange Times and Observer, but it's fueled by you. Every year, we need donations. So if you have some new books to donate or books in great condition and new condition, or if you can pick some up at a bookstore, you're at Walmart this week, and maybe you could pick up a few books for the kiddos in town that might not otherwise be able to afford a book. I'd like to ask that you drop it off at one of the drop-off locations. There are plenty around the West Orange community. In the paper, there's a whole list. But my favorite, of course, is one of our sponsors, is my gymnastics center, Gymnastics USA. So you just roll up in there. It's on 50 in the heart of Winter Garden. And you can drop off your books. There will be a bin there at Gymnastics USA in Winter Garden. In 2022, President George W. Bush began what is known as the President's Volunteer Service Award. This award was established to recognize the important contributions Americans of all ages are making within their communities through service and civic engagement. Well, a Windermere High School student just won that award. Ashley Syrey and her family started a nonprofit organization in 2013. Based in Windermere, the organization is dedicated to rescuing dogs and finding homes for them. The organization is run by young Ashley and her parents, Melissa and Justin. I want to congratulate them on this great award. And I would like for you to learn about these guys, what they're doing with these pups. You know, there's a big story in the West Orange Times and Observer this week. You should check it out. But you can also visit them. They're at the PetSmart on Daniels Road in Winter Garden every Sunday. So they're typically there from 12.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. You know, to discuss the operation, including adoption and foster care options. So please check them out at PetSmart on Sundays in Daniels Road in Winter Garden, 12.30 p.m. Now in some education news, opting out of mask is now possible for children in the Orange County Public School System. Now, this is per a decision made by OCPS last week. And on that note, I encourage you to stay on top of this school board. Go back to last week's broadcast and go to the last story, about nine minutes in or so. I want you to listen to that. We need to be active. Let's go to some of our hyper-local sports news with our high five for this week. Number one. Trevor Simeon came in for an injured Jameis Winston and led the New Orleans Saints to victory over Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Saints won 36-27. Now, you heard that right. This is a hyper-local news sports story. And the reason it's hyper-local news is because Trevor is a Windermere native and an Olympia alumni. And in other impressive hyper-local meets professional sports news, Ollie Marmol has been named the new manager for the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, Ollie is a Dr. Phillips alumni. Number two, Lake Buena Vista High School celebrated its first regional and state qualifiers last week. This is the first year for each program at LBV High, and they already have athletes qualifying for postseason competition. Number three, The Dr. Phillips boys swim team took home the district title October 28th at the Rosen Aquatic Center. Other West Orange teams also performed well on both sides. West Orange had two district champions for both boys and girls. The teams now get ready for their regional swim meet in Boca Raton, which takes place today. Number four, Windermere Sports had a banner week last week. Bowler Alyssa Brown became the first Windermere bowler to qualify for the state tournament. 
and the boys' golf team won their fifth straight district title. The girls' golf team also won their district tournament. Number five, November 5th marks the final week of the regular season for football. Olympia plays its regular season finale against Oak Ridge, while Windermere and Horizon play each other for the first time. Foundation Academy gears up for the playoffs, and Central Florida Christian continues its playoff run by traveling to face Lake Highland Prep. Fans can purchase tickets, as always, on the GoFan app. Now, before we get into the next story, let me tell you about this one. Foundation Academy's theater arts program is making a big impression with a classic children's fantasy, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Now, it opens this Friday. That's tomorrow, November 5th. And you can get tickets at foundationacademy.net slash box office. Now, Foundation Academy is one of our sponsors. They're an incredible school here in our community. They're a Christian school. And in this day and age, I think there's one thing you really need to know about them. And it's found in their slogan. Foundation Academy, where character matters. The city of Winter Garden will celebrate its 118 years with music, food, and much more. The Winter Garden Heritage and Music Festival is placing a spotlight on the city's history with a day of old-fashioned fun from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Saturday, November 6th. That's this weekend. This is the last story because, yes, they're a sponsor. You know, and I'm proud of that. The city of Winter Garden is a sponsor. I mean, that's a great honor. But let me tell you, if you wake up Sunday morning... I don't know if you do Facebook, but maybe you're on the Facebook. Maybe you're talking to a friend down the road and they're raving. You're seeing all these pictures. You're seeing video. You're hearing about it. Everybody's going to be talking about what was going on on November 6th. That's Saturday and West Orange County, specifically in Winter Garden. There's going to be live music with 19 bands, all different various genres of music, five stages throughout downtown. Now, from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m., so the afternoon to evening time, there's going to be street performers all around downtown, jugglers, musicians, acrobats. I mean, that's a lot of fun. You know, you could take the kids down there, the grandkids. Winter Garden Police Department is doing their 5K donut dash run or walk. Uh, that's at 8 a.m. And you could do pre-registration there, everything. That's a great opportunity to, well, to do a 5K uh, walk or run and get donuts. They got all these kind of crispy cream donuts and you're going to eat some donuts while you do the walk. So, it, you know, it balances it out. It's, it's like ordering a cheeseburger with a Diet Coke. So I encourage you to do that because it's a lot of fun and it's supporting a great cause, the Winter Garden Police Athletic League. Now, they do a lot of great things with our youth in this community, including during Christmas. They get a lot of toys raised, a lot of funds raised for toys, and they give them to the kids in our community that are, that are less fortunate. So I, I really think you should support that. And they're there at 8 a.m. this weekend. Go to the West Orange and Observer. Check it all out. Check out the newspaper. I can't stress enough how big this event is going to be. You know, I was going to be out of town this weekend. And I am going to be out of town this weekend. Um, something very important with my family. We got a family function in Denullen, Florida. You know, I try not to leave West Orange, but sometimes I do. And... I was very excited about this function, but, you know, it was planned for a long time. But then I find out about this, you know, I had to change some plans. So I didn't cancel the function, but I altered it a little bit. So I'll be in Winter Garden the first half of the day to enjoy some of this, really take it all in and participate. And then I'll go to my family function because both are very important to me. I knew that I wouldn't want to miss this event. This is not something you want to miss. You got to take it seriously because this will be the biggest event in a very long time, if not ever, in the history of Winter Garden. So I hope I see you Saturday in Winter Garden. And I want to thank you for taking the time to walk through this week's hyper local news with me. Together, we are more informed. This has been Austin Arthur with the West Orange Times and Observer. And until next week, have a happy and blessed weekend. West Orange on the Go is brought to you by the West Orange Times and Observer, hosted by Austin Arthur. West Orange on the Go.